Lethbridge businesses are bracing for the provincial carbon tax increase in the new year, which is set to take natural gas costs, which currently sit at 247 per gigajoule, up by 50%. This will bring the number near to 375 per gigajoule, something that could put a strain on businesses. A smaller business, um, a retail store, probably won't feel much impact of it, but a larger business like a transportation company, it will probably have huge impact for that said, Solar Optics Energy Services is not one of those businesses as it's hoping to benefit from the projected job creation. I think anybody that's in the renewable resource business these days is going to see an uptake in, in uh, installation of, um, well, solar specifically for us. So I think it's going to help with job creation. And um, yeah, I, I see it as a positive thing. I think we all have to be responsible for our consumption. So if there's a tax on it, we should all pay. Solar Optics has started working with the city on solar energy projects, something Lethbridge is apparently a good location for. That's one industry, but even from the homeowner perspective, Alred says that money is likely to go back into the province. Having it passed down on our home gas bills and transportation bills, yeah, people are going to have an impact and, and it will affect some people. But from what I've read, I, I see that it's, it's um, projected to raise almost $10 billion in the next five years. And that money is basically going to be put back as an investment in Alberta. While renewable energy is set to reap some benefits, the same can't be said for other industries. However, business owner Bill Spensley is treating the increase as an opportunity to be resourceful. I don't think it's an onerous tax. I mean, we're a manufacturer. We're exporting into competitive markets in the U.S. and around the world. And yet we're still finding that it's not really that much of an issue for us. It's just given us more opportunities to look at how can we streamline and become more efficient in our process. The 50% increase could bring big changes for some, but for companies like Flexahopper, they consider themselves ahead of the game. We've been paying a, a carbon levy um, already proactively with, with some of the uh, providers we've had before. So we're up in the, the 90, 90 cents or 90, 90 dollars. That certainly dwarfs the $20 per ton that others are used to paying, but as that goes up to 30, Albertans will get the opportunity to see what effect it does have on the economy over the course of 2018. For Bridge City News, I'm Ben Matichuk.